SMT Nation, do we have a treat for you here today? I found me an Ericsson conversion going from Nokia to Ericsson for AT&T. Looks like an incredible site, super tall, uh, full upgrade. It looks like they did all the antennas, all the radios, and chances are based on location, I think we got us a multi-gig, high capacity fiber circuit. So I'm really excited to test it for you guys here. I'm gonna give you some footage, some shots of the site, and then we're gonna test it and see how it performs. All right, let's do this. All right, folks, uh, let me give you a kind of like a, an idea of where we are. So the actual address, um, I'm not really sure if, if that's on Payne, but basically East 25th and Payne. This is a tower site that actually serves the Cleveland State campus over there. Uh, it also serves some of the businesses and obviously the residential of this area. Uh, but it's a, that's, that's what it is. There's some apartments, there's some dorms. Uh, but it is basically the Cleveland State site. And uh, I want to give you guys a good look here on video. If we can kind of... No, that's going to be the best that the iPhone can do. All right, so there's the tower site. Big, tall monopole sticking out kind of in the middle of the city uh, right by the freeway. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do some speed testing here. Uh, we will be testing on my Project Genesis line that is stuck in AT&T. <laughs> All right, let's test it. All right, folks, let's hit it with the Ookla speed test. We'll go ahead and clear the last one. And hopefully we get a good showing here from AT&T. Uh, hopefully we're connecting to all elements of the 5G+. Plus. Uh, we're, we're sort of in direct line of sight. I wouldn't say we're exact. Um, but, I mean, we're, we're pretty close here. I'm just hoping that we get the whole shebang. We get all the N77. AT&T's breakdown of N77 here is essentially 80 megahertz of the 3700 the c-band and then 40 megahertz of the dod and they combine that into two channels of n77 for a combined 120 megahertz I'm not showing 5g plus for some reason and i'm not really sure why because it usually does uh, but we're definitely connected uh could possibly be on a one gig fiber circuit i would i would have kind of expected something a little bit higher capacity uh, but we're going to go around, we're going to test each sector, and uh, we can kind of see what we're working with here, because we might get a different outcome. This could be usage. I guess you never know. All right, so we've got 475 down, 61 up, 24 ping, 2 jitter, loaded latencies ranging between 500 and 900, respectively. All right, and I'm running the air conditioning because I don't want the phone to overheat and then impact performance, so... I don't know why it's not showing 5G plus. It usually does, uh, but you will see I'm connected. I'm gonna focus. iPhone having a hard time focusing. Yeah, AT&T wireless. Uh, my project Genesis line does not connect to Boost anymore. <laughs> Stuck in AT&T. All right, let's go ahead and give it one more test. We're getting the same results. I'm gonna check out a couple other sectors here. We'll try to hit it on each side. This is the side that faces the lake. Uh, to the west and then the, there's another one that faces the lake to the east and then the other sector points towards Cleveland State that would be southwest okay all right so we're not getting much change here I'm gonna go ahead and hit another sector we'll go to the one that's facing uh, northeast all right so I'm gonna go ahead and check it by the way shout out to microbot who actually found this site and uh you know told me about it um so yeah shout out to him all right folks so i'm parked now at the mango mango uh moved to like east 32nd and Payne. so we went down a few blocks and i briefly saw the 5g plus icon show up so it's quite possible that first phase of testing was not actually connecting to c-band that may have been just some combination of lte and n2 right so uh, we should see that reflected in the testing. We should see some additional speed, which I think we are. So 27 ping, 18 jitter, loaded latencies ranging between 950 and uh, what is this on the unloaded? 600. So 612 on the down and 61 on the up. Pretty good, um, but I, I was expecting a little more because I was expecting a higher capacity fiber circuit. So um, I'm expecting a little bit more throughput. But we could be deprioritized <laughs> you know i don't we might be um 
Kind of living that QCI 9 life on Project Genesis. All right, a little bit faster on this one. 814 down. Looks like we're in the 50s on the up. Uh, we are in a different sector now, right? So this is the one that's facing uh, northeast. We are previously on the one that was facing northwest. All right, so pings look really good. Jitter looks fine. Uh, the throughput looks pretty good. Looks like we have at least a one gig fiber circuit. Quite possibly multi-gig capacity on this site. Could just be some usage on it. We are downtown Cleveland over at Cleveland State. And, um, you know, I, I'd, I'd expect there to be some usage. 720 down, 60 up. I really wish I had my other line with me. Um, it would have been good to see the difference. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the other, the third sector, the only one I haven't tested yet. And that's the one that's actually facing Cleveland State. So that one should be interesting because we can really see how the capacity usage is. All right, so 22 ping, 6 jitter. Uh, we got got 1,000 on the loaded latency, 400 for the upload latency, 643 down, 60 up. That's pretty consistent, ranging between 600 and 800. Looks like we got some usage there potentially. Uh, let's go ahead and hit the third sector, and that's going to be the one that's facing Cleveland State, I think. Uh, if it's not facing you know, the main classroom, it's probably facing the rec center. But uh, I'll head over there, and we'll go ahead and make this like a part three. All right, folks, we're here like right by the I-90 uh, overpass and there's one of the sectors directly facing us and I'm gonna try to zoom in here show you guys we're pretty much line of sight direct uh, it's a very tall site right so you could uh, definitely see it over the tree line there uh, and it goes over I-90 uh, we want to just test the third sector here and uh, this is on the Google Pixel 7 Pro uh, we tested the two other ones now we're getting the third one and yeah, I, I, I don't know if it's usage. <laughs> I don't know if it's the fact that it's capped out with backhaul, uh, limited fiber circuit capacity, or if it's the the, the access, you know, the, the project genesis. I'm, I'm basically on QCI 9 here. 239 down, 37 up, not great. 27 ping, 6 jitter. We're over 1,000 on the ping. Tells me we're getting uh, network managed, in my opinion. Uh, 21 on the ping on this next test, 3 jitter. Uh, 1500 2000 for the loaded latency is not great. Wow. Uh, we're definitely connected to N77, though. Um, something else I noticed is some of these small cells over here are, like, defaulting to LTE for AT&T. And I did see some millimeter wave nodes for them. Uh, but I, I have to say I'm not really all that inspired uh, by this performance. I just don't know what to attribute it to. Is it the site... Or is it the plan? Or is it there? Is, is there like a small cell messing with us somewhere? I don't know. But we're like, we're right here. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better testing range. I mean, we're talking like a quarter mile away, and we're in line of sight too. So, um, yeah, not not the greatest situation. Not at all. Three hundred down there. Um, I'm gonna just go around the block here and and see if anything changes, but. I think this sector has just got some usage on it. And, you know, there's there's a lot of usage here for sure. I'm looking around, I see dorms, I see apartments. You know, Cleveland State obviously is, is right there and you've got events, you've got sporting events. Uh, there's museums, there's churches, there's businesses. I, I think it's just usage, honestly, guys. I'm here on the Euclid corridor now. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm doing here. So if you guys have ever seen the cityscape for Cleveland State, this is kind of what it looks like. All right, so 300 down, 37 up. Yeah, definitely not an, in, an inspiring performance. And I kind of gave you guys what I think is happening uh, and, and what could be in play. It could be one, some, or all of the things I mentioned. But uh, yeah, that... <laughs> Got some buildings maybe causing this performance drop off. I don't know, man. SMT Nation, it is time for me to introduce to you Aura. Give you guys an incredible suite of cybersecurity protections to keep everything that you do online safe. Keeping you safe from identity theft, scams, online threats, including protections for your entire family. They offer a pretty much a worry-free trial period. 
Obviously, the pricing is very competitive, starting at $12 per month. They've got one simple and easy app for you to use. They've got incredible features, a million dollars in coverage, 24-7 expert fraud support, transparent pricing, the money-back guarantee at 60 days with a free trial, no strings attached. So with the odds of falling victim to an online crime being 1 in 4, this would change everything. Really should check them out. The financial fraud protection is worth its weight in gold. Help keep your kids protected within boundaries that you set forth for them. Proven to be the fastest, most reliable fraud alert system. And it's as simple as choosing your plan, simply setting up how you're enrolled, and then getting notified for all the things that it's monitoring. Start your free trial now. Use our link. It's down in the description, and it's also here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. You guys can click the URL. It's hyperlinked down in the description. And again, it's up here on the screen. Aura.com forward slash need. Protect yourself from all the digital threats that's out there in the world.